Word on the street is the Alberta lift and the trails on the far east of the mountain have opened. We're gonna go take a look and see whether or not that's true. Headed out towards Alberta lift. Waterfall gate opened up. We got us coming in this way, I guess. The pitch. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh. Little sneak. Oh. Oh. Yep. They got the Alberta lift spinning. They just had a whole bunch of Abbey control they had to get done before they opened it up. up there in the clouds is the knife ridge. Major Abbey terrain. And that's where we've been lapping earlier, the waterfall area. But yeah, they got more waterfall gates open and pretty much infinite skiing back here. <laughs> like a dream in here. Alberta. My favorite part of the mountain.
Thank you. Yeah, of course. That was just for you. Oh yeah, thanks so much, man. Fresh corduroy. Yeah, when there's a little better snow, you can hike up on that staircase, ski all this really gnarly stuff. Usually isn't open when we come early season. They tried with some of that stuff. It's like they blasted it and almost the snow came down. Not many tracks out this way. Huh. It's a little hard on snowboards. Have a good one guys. Yep. People are getting stuck out here. There's so much snow. Can imagine this wouldn't be the best mountain to be a snowboarder with all the traverses and whatnot. Only tracks in here. Uh, they literally just dropped the ropes here like an hour ago. Like the first one to come through these trees. Oh, there's some terrain in here we want to look out for cliffs and stuff won't be ready it's thick heaven heavy hard to work with here I think I'm home free right here. Boom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that cliff isn't ready for us yet. Oh man. Knew I'd end up bushwhacking on this one. Yeah, and this one took us even further down. There's a whole nother chairlift back here. The charity lift. Kind of nice. This little lift has nice beginner trails and it also gets you out of some of these far Alberta trees. Really good skiing, but then it flattens out. Easy to get a little stuck. That's where we were, right in there. Really good terrain. Even some big old cliffs we had to cut out of, but 
getting out of there was a little rough. I'm, I'm sure once more people ski through there, it'll you'll flow out a little bit better. But so one thing about Wolf Creek is it's steep and then it gets kind of flat. Yeah, she's just up there. Oh man. Oh fuck. Back at it. Feels good. First couple days at A Basin and Keystone doesn't really compare to this. This feels more like my real first day of the season. Legs are burning. It's about 3.30, so this should be the last one we get over here at Alberta. It's been a great day out here at Wolf Creek. If you haven't checked out Wolf Creek, you absolutely should. I can't get enough of this place.
Time to head back to the to the base area. Wolf Creek's a little bit weird. You got the uh, true base area of the mountain below the parking lots. You gotta take two lifts to get back to the car. Bro, yeah, thanks for being here. It was awesome. You too. See you next time. It was awesome. Good one out here at Wolfie. Decided to go ahead and buy a hat at the gift shop to help out my ski hair. It's about that time I'm gonna need a rocket cap to protect my helmet head. But uh, yeah, I went in and purchased a Wolf Creek cap, 20 bucks. But I need a cap anyway, and I want to support this place's dream. It's definitely a, a gem here in Colorado, a diamond in the rough the Wolf Creek Ski Area. Every skier should come out here. If you're a snowboarder, just know it's a little traversy, but every skier and snowboarder should come out here and experience the most snow in Colorado.